My third guy, like I mentioned earlier, I would have went Taylor Rogers probably like a month ago, a few weeks ago. Right now, and I wouldn't have gone with this guy a few weeks ago. I'm going with Jake Cronenworth. Yeah, Crony, that's right. He is definitely one of my favorite players on the Padres. It's Musgrove. It's probably Crony and Myers. Uh, I know some people don't like Myers, but I, you know, I do, I guess, kind of have a soft spot for him because he's been through everything that we've been through in these last six years, seven years. You know, uh, he was through the, the rebuild. Um, yeah, he's not the greatest player, uh, but I'd like to see him win a World Series with the Padres in this last year uh, that he's on the team, assuming he doesn't get traded. Uh, but Jake Cronenworth, getting to him, I think he deserves to be an all-star. Just looking at the National League all-star roster last year, you had Adam Frazier starting, and you had two other second basemen. I think Max Muncy was the other, and Max Muncy is not doing great this year. He's not going to be an all-star. Um, if there's going to be three second basemen this year, like there was last year, Jake Cronenworth should be that third second baseman. The top three guys in war right now, according to fan graphs, I believe are Tommy Edmond, Jeff McNeil, and Jake Cronenworth. The two finalists, because it's a popularity contest, are Jazz Chisholm, who's like the Tatis of second baseman, and Ozzie Albies. And the Braves have a huge fan base. Ozzie Albies is the big name among second basemen. So those are the two finalists. I don't think they deserve to be starting, just looking at numbers. But uh, So one of them is going to get picked. The other might get picked as well, and which is going to be unfortunate. So th now looking at that, I don't think that Jake will make it. But I think he should make it if you're just strictly looking at the numbers. Uh, Jeff McNeil is second in war, I believe. Yeah, he has a higher war than Jake. This is as of Tuesday night, uh, yesterday. Um, but it's by 0 0.1 wins above replacement. Crony's played in more games than McNeil, about 10 more, has more home runs, has more runs scored, more runs driven in, and doesn't have a negative defensive war. Jake is one of the best def defensive infielders, I think in the National League. Uh, he could play first, could play short, could play second. Great versatility. And he's played all but like two games this year. And one of those days was probably a mistake on Bob Melvin's part because it was Crony's bobblehead day and he, they decided not to play him. Um, yeah, the average isn't really there. He's hitting 240, but neither is the average there for Ozzy Albies. He's hitting 244. Um, how many... Ozzy Albies has eight home runs right now. Jake has seven home runs. So about the same, higher war. Uh, Albies has a 694 OPS. Cronenworth's OPS is 720. So he has a better OPS. League average OPS plus is 100. Jake's is 110. He went on that absolute torrid stretch during that Cubs series that like week. Should have won NL Player of the Week, I think, but Goldie won it. Uh, Goldie's been really good this year too. He's probably like the front runner maybe in NL MVP this year. I know you could say Manny, um, but people are biased against Manny. So I guess I was just coming with the Goldie take coming at that from, you know, the national perspective, but with Jake Cronenworth, I mean the versatility playing every day, uh, there, like I mentioned the three second baseman on the NL side last year, if you're looking at the stats, um, uh, and the simple stats, you know, I, I feel like Jake Cronenworth would be that third, second baseman. But when you figure that the all-star starters, the voting, it's a popularity contest, and you got some guys that aren't a top three second baseman right now in the National League in that finalist, Chisholm and Albies, one of them's getting picked. The other might get picked because of popularity. Uh, and if, Ch if Chisholm wins the second baseman pick, Snitger is Albies is manager. So he might pick Albies over a guy like Cronoworth or Jeff McNeil or, you know, I think Tommy Edmond would get picked because he's been an all-star, but um, yeah, so it's not looking my first gut reaction now uh, after looking at the finalists is that Jake won't make it, but I think he should make it. I think he deserves to make it when looking at the numbers.